10. Our final day on NCL Getaway. So it's our final, I keep hitting all the chairs around me, sorry. Um, it's our final day. Tomorrow we're back in New York and headed back home. <laughs> So it's our final day, and it's a full day at sea again. So we're gonna go get some breakfast from the buffet, and I'm not really sure what the day holds for us in terms of activities. We do wanna try and see if we can uh, possibly do the cruise next thing, which is like a deposit for future cruises, and they double your, your money. Um, so, we're going to look into that. I think there's a presentation, uh, but a lot of people on board have told us to look into that for future cruises. So we're definitely going to look into that today because we're definitely going to come back on another NCL ship um, in the future. Um, so that's something we're looking forward to doing today. But other than that, it's uh, we'll see what we can get ourselves into kind of day. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna miss this view. So my breakfast is a mimosa again, some ham. This is a ham, egg, and cheese scramble on a bagel. Some of the hash brown patties, bacon, and then turkey sausage. All right, so Jack just played a blackjack tournament. He won the semifinals and went on to the finals. And what happened? Uh, I lost. <laughs> uh, so the first, the guy next to me went, he went, he went big on that first hand and doubled, basically doubled his money. So I had to start being a bit more aggressive. So um, it was either the next hand or the hand after that that I had to kind of just go all in and went all in the next hand. I had an 18 decent uh, dealer was showing uh, six. The dealer pulled a five. And he got 21. <laughs> Beat my 18. And the rest is history. Yeah. Win some, lose some. Yeah, but we had fun. He won one. It was one a blast. Round. It was yeah. a blast. He won one, one, one round of the tournament. So that was nice. It was fun. Killed some time. Yeah, it was a last minute decision, and I ended up kicking somebody out of the final. That was. Yeah. <laughs> felt Joe. Bad, but, Sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah. But we had. Nice. But it was good. Nice. It's fun to watch. Yeah. So it's our final day. We just got back to the room. And we came back to a little sloth guy. I'm not really sure if you can see him. I'll try and like put this. He's got eyeballs. He's got like a little tongue. What did he make the eyeballs out of? Oh, they're like little foil. But he's so adorable. It's like so exciting. And the little sloth guy. He's just hanging out in our room, waiting for us to get back. Just chilling. He gets to watch this view the whole time. So yeah, that is our our dude for the day. We also just went down and got our luggage tags because we have to have our luggage out between 7 and 11 p.m. tonight. And we're doing the latest checkout, which is 10 o'clock. So that corresponds with your checkout time. So we got the green tag so we can leave at 10. And then we also did the cruise next. So I'm not sure if we'll talk about how much we spent. Well, we did do the cruise next package. So for the cruise next package, they just double whatever you put down in deposit as an onboard credit. And they'll give that to us tonight, but we can push that off for future um, cruises, we don't have to use that all on this cruise if we don't want to, so we'll probably just push that off um, to our next cruise because I'm pretty sure we've already paid everything um, on our credit card ahead of time. So we'll just take that extra money and push it off to our next cruise. And we did a large amount <laughs> of deposits for future cruises, so... Um, it works out to about um, two cruises a year, for, <clears throat> two cruises a year for the next four years. 
um, if we choose to do that. Um, we're thinking we might do some family cruises so we can book two rooms and use two deposits for that. Um, so we'll probably wind up doing that. If not this year, probably next year, but we have until 2027 to book. And then we have two more years after that to actually cruise, um, according to the woman. So from what she is telling us that we have until 2027 to book our cruises and then two more years, depending on sailings, to sail. Um, but everything has to be booked within the four year time period. So we're excited to do that because we definitely want to sail and NCL again. We've had a really amazing time and we look forward to sailing again in the future. <laughs> so we found one more ducky as we were coming back to the room. So that makes three ducks this cruise, a 10 day cruise and we found three ducks. I think when we were on MSC, we found how many ducks did we find on MSC? No, like six, seven ducks. Probably more than that. It was like eight ducks that yeah, we found ducks. on a four-day four cruise. So, um, so yeah, and this guy was like right on our floor near the steps. Doesn't have a tag or anything, so he's can't be recognized, but excited to find him nonetheless. So we are just chilling in the room for right now, trying to figure out what our, what our next steps are for the day. Um, but yeah. Little duck. Doing some arcade time using our arcade package. Jack's playing the Terminator. <laughs> I won't watch him play the whole time, but this is what we're playing right now. We're just in the arcade, just having some fun. Doing some arcade games. Well, this is outside of Moderno. This is where we're having dinner tonight. So this is the outdoor seating for Moderno. And then this is your view. It looks like we have a full moon tonight. I'm not really sure, but it looks like it's a full moon. And the sun is about to set. And here's the sun setting on our final day. Board the getaway. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't beat a view like that. many people out here enjoying the view. It's beautiful. So Cagney's is located, well Cagney's and Moderno are located right next to each other. Um, in the, I believe this is the aft of the ship, on deck eight. And then there is a bar in the middle called the Prime Meridian Bar. So this is the Prime Meridian Bar, which is located in between Moderno, and then you have Cagney's over here. So there's an outside seat, and then we're in here, located inside. And then they walk around with all the meats. And then there's like a salad bar in the middle. Alright, so this is pretty much what comes um, to the table. These are your choices of meat that come to the table. Then they have a soup and salad bar in the section in the center, which you can go to first, and once you're done with that you take your card. Right now it's flipped to red. If we flip it to the green side, that means that we're ready to start eating, um, you know, having the meat, the entrees. So, and then they'll start walking around with all the meat for us to choose from. So right now we're gonna go get some salad or whatever they have at the salad bar. All right, Jack, how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. 
Why is that? No raffle win. Oh, yeah, we didn't win the raffle. There was only one lucky winner. Only one. And what, what did they win? A couple t-shirts. A couple t-shirts. Which makes me even more upset. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the salad bar. All the stuff that you can have before they come around serving the meats. And they have soups as well. It's the other side of the salad bar, they have some sushi. And then down further, they have some meats and cheese. And then lobster bisque for the soup. And another soup, I'm not sure what it was. So there's a lot of stuff to choose up there. So I just got some baby mozzarella, some serrano ham, I think. I'm not sure what this is. I made myself a little Caesar salad. Jack got some kind of chorizo bean soup. Cheese bread, cheese bread, yeah. Oh, thank you. And some Brazilian cheese bread. That's what the waiter just said. And then this is what Jack got from the salad bar. I might try the lobster bisque, but I'm gonna eat this first and then see where I am after that. So Jack went and got some lobster bisque um, along with the other soups just so we can try it so we know what we're, we're getting. And apparently this has spare ribs and chorizo and beans in it, so. Bon appetit, sir. Bon appetit. So what's your thoughts so far, sir? What's that? What's your thoughts so far? Uh salad bar is good like it's great the soups are good lobster bisque is great um, there's a bean spare rib soup with chorizo too. chorizo that's good too um the parmigiano reggino is that reggiano it? reggiano butchered it sorry i'm probably butchering it too so What's that? I'm probably butchering it too. <laughs> <laughs> so good, goes well with the meat. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Way better than Cagney so far. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so my like salad bar experience is really good. Uh, my little homemade make yourself Caesar salad was really good. The meats and the mozzarella was really good. The ham was so delicious. Yeah. And like Jack said, the uh, Parmesan, like Parmesan chunks were just mm -hmm. on point. And then they gave us these little Brazilian cheese bread, which is really, really, really good. So, all in all, it's been good so far. Plate is empty. <laughs> oh, did I just cover that? <laughs> Got me. All right, so we're turning our card to green. We got our little to grab the meats and now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the sides that come with the food. Garlic mashed potatoes, butter rice, not sure what that is, and mushrooms, and I'm allergic to mushrooms, so I'll stay away from those. And here we go, we got some meat. And then they just brought us over some sauces. And then our first that they brought over was pork tenderloin and a pork sausage. Next up is filet mignon. And I will say that the pork tenderloin and the pork sausage were really good. So this is pecana, which is Brazilian cut of top sirloin. Uh, this is the filet, which I just showed you. It's decent. I just wish that their steaks had more flavoring. That's been my biggest thing with every steak I've gotten on this um, on this trip so far. But it's still decent. It's still good. So um, I'm gonna try this now. Okay, so I just had the pecana, and that is like the best steak that I've had so far on this trip. It's really good, and it's the top sirloin. Um, the filet's good as well. Remember, it's not plank. I mean, it's not skirt, it's plank. I know, this is plank steak. And it's delicious. The garlic mash is delicious. Um, so far, the top sirloin is the best so far. I really do um, think the pork tenderloin is also delicious. All right, next on the menu is chicken breast wrapped in bacon. 
Jack got the same thing, chicken breast, rack, bacon, and a drumstick. We got the pork belly. How about you, Mom? I'm good, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the pork belly? Um, it's phenomenal. I think it's um, right up there with the, the sirloin. It's hard to pick between the two because they're different animals. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> animals. But. And we apologize for showing like our messy plates, but there's really no other way to show the, yeah, just, the meat when they like bring it over. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the pork belly, amazing. It just came out fresh. Brand new plate right out of the kitchen. Tender, juicy, fatty, not too much. Delectable. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, I think the top sirloin was my favorite. Um, and the chicken was just dry. It just, it was good. It's just dry. Yeah. The uh, chicken breast was, as usual, I've been to several. Brazilian restaurants, uh, steak restaurants, and you know, usually the, the chicken breast is a little dry. Um, then they also gave us drums, which are less dry, but still a little bit, well, a tiny bit dry. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. So. Okay, so here is the banana caramel meringue tartlet. And I got some coffee, and then Jack got a cappuccino, and then the chocolate tres leches cake, right? Yeah, yeah. So it looks delicious, so hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> so today is our de-embarkation day. Um, we're back in New York City, in Manhattan. We actually have the Norwegian gem parked right next to us um, our departure time is the final time which is 10 a.m. it's currently 8 a.m. so we're getting ready to leave our room and head out they've already been calling um, people to get ready to go actually it might be 8 15 at this point um, they've called people to leave they started calling people around 7 45 or 7 30 that's pretty early when they started having people line up so Manhattan in the background. We're gonna disembark today from our 10 day cruise. It's been amazing. And hope you enjoyed watching all of our videos with us and you stick around because we have plenty more to come in the future. So we made it down here, it's nine o'clock. All they have left open is like the juice and coffee and water stations. They've clear, pretty much cleared out all the food area, but a lot of people are like sitting up here who are just waiting for their zone to be called. And like I said, we have a 10 o'clock because we didn't want to, we didn't have anywhere rushed to be, so we figured let other people who might have a transfer or a rush to get off the cruise ship first. where we came in and we're on the same terminal again I believe